hello and greetings welcome for listening to my presentation well this was a project that we did two people and the presenters are there we did it for our final year for the department of computing science so look at the tools that we will be using well from the above we'll be using an operating system we'll, we've got more than forum the software development kit will be visual paradigm for the design and uses, use cases languages will be java xml ide will be use android studio database will be, we will use firebase yeah and so through this we will develop our system so let's get to see the project from the android studio so as you can see these are the codes from android studio see the da dashboard was well de designed as you can see it's very beautiful we had several java classes as you can see there's so many java classes that we use in implementing this project as you can see there are almost 10 around yeah so many and the layouts the xml layouts yeah as you can see see the layouts yeah and uh, Finally, you can see the gradual setting that we used. And in the project, we had no AVD. We didn't create no AVD. So we are going to just build APK and, you know, transfer it to our phone and uh, install the app. So from this point, we have already installed the app in our phone. As you can see, it's Raveda. So we'll just click on it and uh, get into business. So you can see the developer here you can log in if you're not log if you are not register you can register the click so let's get into our database the firebase these are the user that previously logged in to into our database so let's delete all of them so that we can create new users so let's start creating a new user by a name Jack Will and his username will be there, email will be there and password. So you know this is a real time database. A moment we will enter data and register submit, the data will be automatically immediately updated on the back end. Which is our Firebase database. So let's check, let's reload and as you can see Jack Will has been added and as you can see the password is encrypted. The date created is September 15, 2020. The date signed in is uh, the same date. Yeah. So let's let's get back to our dashboard to navigate through the functionality that our project will implement. As you can see, bursaries, internship, jobs, complaints, and you know the app looks very beautiful. Let's start by complaints. We have started with the complaints because uh, it's only part that uh, ha that uh, is having few entries compared to others. So it's simple and uh, very easy to deal with, very quick. So let's go through it very quickly. And remember, this is a real-time database. A moment we will submit the data that we have just entered, immediately we will see an entry is added on the real-time database, database part. So just check, just check. It's only around two seconds. Just yeah, as you can see, that has been added. And so you know, let's navigate through the data, the complaints. Because you can see the title is complaints, and the complainants was this guy, and the details are here. Yeah. So it's, and let's get back, get back to dashboard so that we can start applying bursary. As you can see, they're checking adverts for bursaries and uh, there we are there are two advertisements for bursary number one number two you can apply either and as you see the data are being handled and i have as i have said earlier this is a real-time database and uh, you know um, somebody has uh, applied for complaints and another person is applying for bursary so you know when is complete and you will submit you will see a good bursary part and the applicants so let's just wait and see. This is a real time database. And the, there are two screens a phone screen and a computer screen that uh, is open on our 
club to so let's select that cv that uh, yeah that's a cv supportive document the file is uploaded what there it is there it is the ambassador applicant was this guy bell tom his details were this one as you can see you know and remember he applied uh, he uploaded a cv through which you're going to get from storage so let's let's load that as you can see basari basari the bernardo tom basari file and you can just download it from that moment yeah the same procedure we did for basari is we're doing is what we're doing for internship positions so let's see checking yeah wow those are all of the positions that are available for interns almost five yeah you can choose either and apply for so the, 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 the guy is applying for internship position in an IT department. Yeah, as you can see, he's entering his data. Here we will enter his CV. So let, let's see. He's just choosing a CV from the file. Good. And the file is uploaded. Oh, it's already in our database. So let's, let, let's see. See the internship public application applicant was this guy and let's get to see his CV there the same thing we did to Basari can download and that's just get it over like that yeah so that was our project and we're very happy that uh, we did a good work thank you for participating and listening for our project thank you